<laughs> all right hey everybody welcome back once again it's your girl jasmine so i have a challenge video for you guys and this is kind of a reward yourself challenge video um and it only you know this video comes from you know victories in life because you think about like in victory like whenever you like win a battle or win something that you've been fighting for a long time like you know like there's always like some type of victory or uh celebration or something you know and you know for a long time i've been struggling with a lot of hurdles like a lot of things in my life like that i thought that i would like never overcome like you know like never overcome and and so this year like god has really been dealing with me with facing my giants like you know um one of my last videos was on fear versus faith you know like hey you know like face your giant you know like take it full at it like you have all what it was that you that you're equipped to do you need to go at it you know and it's like okay for so long i I was just so afraid, like, you know, one of my biggest giants was fear of love, or, you know, being loved, because I didn't love myself, or, you know, I didn't think that I was capable of being loved, and I didn't believe that people really loved me, but I didn't even love myself, and now that I love myself, now that I see myself, for her, now that I see that I can be liked, now that I can see that I can be loved, you know, now that I know that I'm beautiful, now I can better, you know, yet live, and those are my giants in life, and I've overcome them, and I've won. And so now it's a point in time in my life where it's like, okay, you know, everybody around you may have not known, like, the big hurdles in your life and what you may have overcome, but you know that, you know, and you know how hard it was for you to defeat those places in your life, and you know how hard it was, so go out and treat yourself to something very nice, you know, because you have overcome something that you've been struggling with. I've been struggling with these issues for the longest, okay? One of my hugest issues was uh, you know, a fear that I was going to hurt people, that everybody I touched, you know, would leave, all that stuff, like, I've been struggling with that for almost 23 years, I am 23 years old, okay, that is a long time to be struggling with something, a long time to, you know, not believe that love is real, that people love, a long time, you know, to you know, not really value myself or think that I have to manipulate people into liking me, because, you know, because, you know, I didn't like myself, and so I didn't think that people really liked me, but people like me, you know, like, people like me, I just have to be myself, be who I am, you know, instead of being what the world wants me to be, just be myself, and I finally found out who I was, so I can be myself, so you like, you know, it's just very good to feel like, okay, well, you know, this is who I am, you know, and I've been able to jump over these hurdles i've been able to face these certain giants in my life and so you know like go out you know reward yourself choose yourself to something that is valuable that is meaningful that you can be like hey you know like i have overcame i have won and and not you know not just like okay let me go get like a meal because i'm the type of person where like me when i treat myself i only get like meals and stuff like that like I love food. So, but something that you can, like, maybe put on your shelf and be like, okay, this is, you know, you think about the children of Israel when they crossed over the Jordan and they got into, uh, they were, they picked up the 12 stones as a memorial. Something that would be like, okay, these are the hurdles that I have overcame. These are the things that I, you know, this was a part of my life in which I overcame. I was on the other side of the Jordan but now I'm here, and I did a video before about the, um, uh, how I have my scrapbook, and how I put in the 12 stones, and the stuff, you know, which I had to overcome during my 12 stones, and, um, you know, I'm feeling really good, because I have overcame a lot, and, um, I think some of the last ones were my biggest giants, and so I feel victorious, and I feel like an overcomer, and I'm really happy, um, <laughs> I was so happy, like, you know, like, I've had a lot of people, you know, discourage me on, on, you know, some of the stuff I do on, um, my, you know, my blogs, because they don't really understand, um, but, you know, walking with Christ and, you know, finding myself 
is helping me, you know, help other people and um, really encouraging to um, have people who uh, are, you know, out there looking for themselves um, like I have been in Christ and, you know, are trying to find their purpose and who are trying to face their fears and their battles and their giants and um, in the process of why God's helping me do that, I can help other people overcome. So I'm very thankful for that. And I just challenge you to, if you have overcame any giants in your life uh, recently, any big hurdles, you know, you've been stuck in some place for a long time, you know, but now you're unstuck, go out and, and do something great for yourself because you know what? You have overcome. You have overcome. Um, so... It's wonderful. You're an overcomer. Woo! Okay, you're an overcomer. Yay! All right, so yeah, go um, do something for yourself uh, so that you can uh, keep a reminder of the fact that you have overcame. All right, you guys, God bless.